myself and Bashir um, celebrating diversity in the game and um, you know we've had a, a few events over the past two weeks and um, yeah just to have that on show uh, for this Friday night as well is another big step. And what is it? Is the goal is to get more people involved in the game or just show you know how, how multicultural the game already is? Yeah to show how multicultural the game already is but also to um, I guess celebrate the diversity of the game and, um, and get a lot of kids I guess at the grassroots level involved and and to see it celebrated on, on the big stage, um, I guess, just adds to that spectacle and um, I guess hopefully inspires a few more kids from, from diverse backgrounds to get involved in footy. It's growing every year, isn't it? It is massive. So um, we've got a few academies. I started at my academy. Bash has had his for a few years now and, um, you know, guys like Majak Door as well. So um, it's, it's growing bigger and bigger every year and, um, yeah, fingers crossed we get a lot more kids involved. How do you think we go as a state, Nick, with that multicultural thing in football? Is there much more room to, to improve and and uh, become more involved in? Yeah, yeah, we've made big inroads, but um, as, you, as you said, we have got a lot of few more steps to go. So um, I think 15% of the, the AFL industry um, at the moment is, is multicultural, but it's not probably a real reflection of society where 50% of probably um, the, the community has a parent born overseas. So um, we, we're slowly building on that, but um, yeah, there's always, always room for improvement. What are the strongest cultures getting involved, do you think? I mean, what have you seen? Any surprised you? Um, I guess a lot of, you know, a lot of guys from the Asian backgrounds, I guess Chinese, um, a lot of Sudanese kids as well. I guess Majak coming into the, the community, um, the AFL community helps with that as well. But also the Isla Islamic schools and, and all the Muslim kids getting involved as well um, because of this great man. So, um, yeah, it's good to see and um, seeing a, just a different, I guess, group of people getting involved with football. What are the details of your academy like? Yeah, it's just adding another pathway, so similar to Bash's one, um, just getting kids another avenue to, to make it into the local footy club, um, also teaching them life skills off, off footy as well, when, um, and just teaching them the basic fundamentals. Um, I guess the other day you, you don't realise how, how lucky we are until you have to stand up and, I guess, introduce the game of football to people who have never heard the game before. So um, it has been tricky at times, but, but an enjoyable experience. What about acceptance, Nick? What do you say to the old-fashioned ones again? See it in an old traditional way. How important for people to understand and accept everybody has a lot to contribute to this. Yeah, it's massive. Um, I guess the whole using football as a vehicle for, for social inclusion is, is the massive part. And um, my family had that same transition to, I guess, the local community getting involved at the, the footy club. I guess if it's um, not getting involved, you know, with, with the canteen or cutting oranges, um, just, just starting somewhere and just, I guess, being a part of your local community. Bashir, what's the reach of football into the Islamic community right now? It is, it is huge. I mean, these kids are, you know, played football before but never had the ambition, I guess, or, you know, the aspirations to, to make it the highest level. Um, I think through my involvement and my involvement at the highest level, the doors of opportunity have opened up and hopefully we can see some more young Islamic kids grow up and, you know, take this game up, first of all, and second of all, obviously make that as their goal because previously they thought, you know, it was a racist game, but hopefully, you know, through my involvement and the opportunities that I've opened, uh, you know, we can see more young Muslims growing up and, you know, playing at the highest level in any, any sort of level. It doesn't have to be only AFL, it could be, uh, you know, soccer, basketball, but just giving them that, that sort of hope. Did you find it hard growing up with some racism involved? I mean, did you have to put up with that sort of stuff? Never individually. I never actually received any sort of racist comments to myself, but, uh, you know, watching local football, you still see it's evident today. It's still happening. Uh, it's, it is getting better, but I think we've still got a lot of, lot of work to be done. What do you say to those people? close their mind and don't want to open it up. It's just a simple message, just open up your mind and, and, and just be inclusive, you know. Uh, it's, all, it's all about education. I think these the people that, you know, make these comments, it's just a lack of education. That's what we're trying to send that message across, it's just education, um, you know, and just open up for different cultures because it is, it's, it's the reality of our country. It's become so multicultural, so you need to, need to start accepting people from different backgrounds. What drew you to the game? Uh, my older brothers played, loved playing the game. My parents weren't f fans of the game. They, they hated sport altogether. They thought it was, uh, it was just basically um, a sort of thing that would get us in trouble, get us injured and veer, veer, veer us away from education, taking them on. They came to this country purely to seek the best education for their children. Um, but my older brothers grew up loving the game and uh, for me it was quite tough early on, but uh, soon after they, they became my biggest supporters.